Cheers. Best sportsman, so... So Samsung have just launched a whole host of brand new smartphones, including this here, Samsung Galaxy S21 FE, promising a solid battery, great display, a well-rounded camera, and a £799 price tag. But what if I told you you could get a lot of that for just half the price. I have here the brand new Realme 9 Pro Plus, and Realme claim that this phone delivers a flagship camera experience, all for just 349 UK pounds, 299 pounds with an early price discount. If true, that's crazy, right? With that in mind, Realme sponsored me to put that to the test, comparing the 9 Pro Plus's camera and the S21 FE's camera, and Quite frankly, the results surprised me. Now, of course, just because this is sponsored content, it doesn't mean I'm gonna sit here and say the 9 Pro Plus's camera is 10 times what the S21 FE offers, uh, but I will be open and honest about things that I like um, and fair and balanced about things that I think potentially could be improved also. And quite frankly, I'll let the phone do the talking for me. I'll show you the results and then you can make your own minds up and definitely let me know in the comments what you think as we go through. So firstly, I have two color options here, Sunrise Blue and Aurora Green, and it's also available in Midnight Black as well. I will be giving one of these away over on my Instagram, but more on that shortly. In the box, you get a silicon case, the phone and charger and charging cable. And this uses the 60 watt super dart charge technology. The phone's redesign has this unbelievably eye-catching look. And the Sunrise Blue variant has this chameleon finish styled by photochromism, apparently, and is inspired by, you guessed it, the sunrise. Under normal sunlight and ultraviolet light, the back cover will become completely discolored from blue to red in about three seconds. And under no sunlight, it will fade in two to five minutes. It has three layers to it and this kind of strip down the middle. So there's this incredible light color shift to it. For my own personal preference, I think the uh, glittery nature to them is a little bit much for me. A little bit much, a little bit much. <clears throat> Excuse me. But parts of it are undeniably gorgeous. And if you love a bit of glitter, then uh, these will be right up your street. Now the camera array on both phones is at the top left hand side. But before we get to actual performance, what do we actually have here spec wise? Well, firstly, we have a triple lens setup on both a 12 megapixel wide main, eight megapixel telephoto and 12 megapixel ultra wide on the S21 FE and a 50 megapixel wide, eight megapixel ultra wide and a two megapixel macro on the nine pro plus. So straight away, I could see there would be pros and cons to both. Firstly, the Realme 9 Pro Plus doesn't have a telephoto lens and subsequently no optical zoom. So you are relying on full digital zoom for your up to 20 times shots. The S21 FE is therefore not only superior in total zoom with up to 30 times, but also thanks to its three times optical zoom, it will give you sharper zoom images overall, more noticeable on text, etc. But considering the 9 Pro Plus is digital only, it does a pretty decent job still. On the flip side, the macro camera on Realme's offering means that anything up close and personal is going to look better on the Realme phone. The ultra wide angle lens on the 9 Pro Plus is not quite as wide at 119 degrees to the 123 of the 21 FE. So you can't fit quite as much into the scene of your shot, but the HDR is equally as impressive. And then there's the primary lenses. Both can produce some absolutely excellent shots. But the great thing about the 9 Pro Plus is 50 megapixel Sony IMX766 OIS sensor is that because of that larger megapixel size, the sharpness and detail you can get, especially when cropping in, is pretty noticeable. This is also great if you like doing a lot of sort of post-production on your uh, photos. That added detail or information gives you kind of more to work with. I also noticed on portrait shots, the shutter speed of the Samsung device is actually often a little bit slower, which means if you've got a moving subject, pets, for example, like Dottie here, you can get more often more blurred shots. 
Now the FE does trump the 9 Pro Plus when it comes to video, in my opinion. The sheer fact that we have 4K at 60 frames per second max on both the rear and the front to the 4K max 30 FPS on the 9 Pro Plus, and the fact that the stabilization is superior also, it just means the S21 FE takes the win here. But night mode is where the 9 Pro Plus really comes into its own. And some of the results were pretty incredible for a 350 pound phone. Yes, when zooming in, again, the FE has the upper hand, but for everything else, the 9 Pro Plus more than holds its own and in some circumstances outperforms the flagship S21 FE. The 16 megapixel front camera also often produces clearer results than Samsung's 32 megapixel snapper in night mode. And in daylight, it's a bit of a coin toss. Creativity is also served up brilliantly on both, but in different ways. So this will come down to personal preference, sub subje subje subjectivity, I'm not Sean Connery, subjectivity, that's a terrible accent. <laughs> The FE comes equipped with features such as AR zone, super slow motion, and single take, whereas the 9 Pro Plus is absolutely packed full of interesting features like starry mode, tilt shift, film, which goes super wide screen style, and a street mode, which lets you play around with exposure, with neon trail, light trail, portrait rush, and light painting options. And you have some funky filters like 90s pop and black and white plus and cyberpunk, to name a few. Personally, if given the reins to controlling how the smartphone camera is made in this phone. I personally would have tried to include a telephoto lens instead of a macro. It's probably more expensive to do. That's probably why they didn't. But from what I've seen so far, for half the price, there are elements to this camera smartphone that more than holds its own with premium flagship smartphone cameras. But what about the rest of the phone? Not sure what those, that was quite flamboyant, wasn't it? Well, firstly, yes, the frame is plastic, so it doesn't feel ultra premium, nor cheap though, somewhere kind of in the middle. The back panel, as stated, is absolutely stunning, if a bit of a nightmare to keep clean. And up front, we have a 6.43 inch, 90 Hertz, Full HD Plus Super AMOLED display. Certainly bright and smooth enough on the scroll. I just wish Realme would shave off some of that chin that we do see on a lot of their more affordable options. When scrolling around the interface, I did notice how snappy and responsive it felt. And the eight gigabytes of RAM combined with the MediaTek Dimensity 925G chipset certainly seems like a winning formula in this mid-range area of the market. And here is a benchmark comparison with the S21 FE. Yes, in cold hard numbers, this MediaTek chip isn't going to compete with the Snapdragon 888 in the S21 FE, but for half the price, you're certainly not getting half the performance. It's much closer to premium flagship than you would expect. Make no mistake, it's a very competent chip. Media consumption, social media, and some decent gaming sessions are all possible here, and the additional 5GB of virtual RAM and the vapor chamber cooling system will certainly come in handy. You will also notice both phones are on Android 12, with the 9 Pro Plus device running with Realme UI 3.0. It feels very clear and clean to navigate, with nice icons and wallpapers, with plenty of customizable options available. You have a 4500mAh battery cell, Dolby Dual stereo speakers, an X-axis linear motor so haptics feel really nice and premium and your 5G SIM slots are all available wrapped up in Realme's slimmest ever number series phone. The Realme 9 Pro Plus is by no means perfect but you get a lot for that price tag. Right, giveaway time. All you have to do in order to enter the giveaway to win uh, this here Realme 9 Pro Plus device is head over to my Instagram, find the post about this device and comment what you like about this device. Like the post, follow me on Instagram of course as well and you will automatically be entered into that competition and it will be selected at random. Let me know what you think in the comment section below about the Realme 9 Pro Plus. Is it a phone that you're interested in? What do you like about it? What would you improve? Like the video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful. Subscribe if you love everything tech and want to see more content like this. I'll love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Say goodbye, peace out.